to the evident dangers of leading a superficial life following Christ. What does superficial mean? Superficial means, in this context, that one is showing a fake outward appearance only existing on the outside, while deep inside there is something much different. For Shannon's case, this is her visibility of being a righteous Christian, while on the inside she is a hopeless, desperate sinner. First of all, on social media, Shannon plays with her fake masks while she posts daily Bible verses to encourage others, but mainly to boost her reputation of being a righteous Christian. Even in front of her friends, Shannon puts on a Christian face of not falling into bad temptations after school hours, while when she's actually alone or not being watched, she is the evil ungodly teenager that she really is. This is an example of Shannon falling into the temptations of the world despite her superficial face. We can also see how this is a danger to her life as she is now completely disregarding her Christian values. This now shows that lying and the need for exception are the primary characteristics pressing Shannon to be a superficial follower of Christ. This desire to be praised by the world aka her friends, even goes to the point where Shannon's friends are annoyed with her constant Christian face and decide not to talk to her. Shannon realizes that in order to have popular friends, she needs to give up trying with her mask, thus showing that giving up your status is part of the costs and dangers of superficial discipleship. outside the home, but also with Shannon's sister and mom, she often gets in fights over what she thinks, what she wants, and what she says. Sometimes this is a result of deceit, doubt, hatred, and lust, which causes us to see the cost of broken relationships and distrusting family members as a cost of constantly wearing a righteous face. This completely shows how much Shannon is sacrificing just to be accepted by the world into partying and idols, despite her own, more important, family relationships that are being constantly broken. Obviously, the change between superficial following and utter discipleship in Christ cannot happen overnight, let alone through one sermon. But only the work of the Holy Spirit in us is what makes all the change. This shows how Shannon is now confronted by one of her own friends who sees her fakeness in Shannon as she catches her texting during church. This is a big sign of Shannon's nonchalant manner and ignorance towards the Word of God. Therefore, as Shannon begins listening to the sermon, she finds herself being brought at the seat of the Holy God, asking for forgiveness. Over the course of this excerpt of Shannon's life, it is evident how much her superficial following cost her, like her family and friend relationships, and the danger of being drawn into the cares of this world without being truly grounded in God's discipleship. A verse in the Bible, John 8 verse 31, reads, Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. This verse sums up Shannon's transformation from when she was abiding in the word and superficially making a godly image of herself to when she truly set her roots down in the word of God. Then Jesus says how that is when you are truly disciples of him, thus showing that although Shannon overcame many dangers and sidetracks of her fake life, in the end, when God re rescues each and every believer, we can restart as true disciples lacking nothing but Him.